Hi, in this short video you will learn how to make a website for healthcare, medical care or doctor appointments using Elementor and basically we will set up an Elementor ready-made template that we can buy from ThemeForest so you will also learn that how we can set up an Elementor template after buying it and this is the website that we will be creating in this video let me just refresh this you can see the motion effects and we have the top bar here then we have the navigation with the logo and all the required pages a call to action and if I scroll down we have this section you can see the services another section and a video section that will open a pop-up video here you can display your own video and then we have testimonial slider as you can see and context section and blog posts and then footer and we also have all other pages like about services team and so on so let's see how we can make this and if you want to buy this template you can just go to the link in the description which will take you to this page and to get this you can just add this to cart and can buy it and in the previous video i already have showed you that how you can buy a theme for this template or theme so if you are facing problems here then you can watch my previous video and once you buy this you will get a file like this as you can see senior care services elemental so you just need to upload this to your office and we can't upload this directly as a theme because this is just a template let me show you if i scroll down here in the requirements you can see that we need elementor elementor kit light and mid form so we need these two plugins and then we can upload this and this is the method so let's see how we can upload this first we will go to our office dashboard and i need to reset this website because i already have a website here on this so let's reset this to reset a website you can just add a new plugin and can search for wp reset install this plugin once you activate this you will see this pop up just click on this then scroll down and type reset here then reset site and reset office and this will reset the office and will deactivate all the plugins and themes now we have a clean dashboard so we can go to plugins and let's activate elementor and we also need another plugin so let's go to plugins add new we need this one so just search for that we'll activate this and after activating you will see another tab elements so just go there and then click on install kits and here we can upload that zip file so let's click on this we'll choose that file we'll click open and this will start uploading this as you can see we got their template and we have a little warning here because we need another plugin here so let's install it as you can see we need these plugins so just click install and this will install all of these then close this and now you can import only a home page about page or any of the page that you need and same goes for all these templates so you can import all of these and then you will have to create pages for this and you can import the template to that let me show you the home page and you can follow the same procedures for all of these so i'll go to pages and we'll add a new page and let's call this home we'll edit this with elementor and this page layout is due to the theme but we can change the theme later on if i scroll down and here we can import templates from inventory elements so we'll click this and as you can see we have that template over here we can click on this and we can import our home page template to this page so we'll click insert template and as you can see it imported the template now let's fix this layout so we will go to settings and we'll change this to elementor full width and now everything looks good so this is our first page as you can see we got everything from their template and now you can easily customize this here in elementor like 
if you want to change this you can click on this and you can change this text you can click on this you can change the button text the button link and so on same goes for all of these we have all the sections with images and content and animations so this was how you can import the home page and if i go back then you can see that we have templates for all the pages like we can import a board page we can create an about page and we will import this template just like i did this one and one more thing is if you want you can import header and footer so for that you can use this free plugin which is element kits you can go to header and footer and you can do some basic settings for this plugin and then you can import those templates like i'll choose basic settings and we'll click next tip next next and now we can go to modules and here we can enable header and footer and then we can go to header and footer here you can add a new one so just give it a name choose header choose a condition for this and then click save changes this will open up elementor and where you can import the header template i am using elementor pro so i'll do it there and the procedure will be the same let's close this if i go to templates and go to theme builder here we have the same header and footer i want to create the header first so i'll click this and this will suggest some elementor blocks that we can use for header but we don't need this we will close the navigator we will click on this we'll open up this template scroll down and we have the header template so we will insert this and as you can see we got the header now we can click this and we can select our menu so i'll choose main menu here and that's it let's publish this and we will add a condition to display this on entire website we'll save and close this and that's it view live website and now you can see that we have header and the whole page so this was how you can set up an elementor template and then you can import the pages and then you can customize this if you want to learn more about elementor you can just go to my channel and go to playlists and here you will find elementor tutorials so just watch with these videos and you will be able to create a website and then you will be able to customize this page also and same goes for all the pages you can make new pages and you can import the templates that you need and that's it so i hope the video will help you if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next